The soundscape is freaking me out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 it's really, yeah. So you're back in the forest now. You're in the jungle, baby! <laughs> 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 Screeching above in the trees. <laughs> no. I will cast Healing Word at first level. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll your D8. Okay, but quietly. Very quiet. That's too loud. That's too loud. Oh, no. <laughs> it's an 8 plus 3, 11. Oh, there you great. go. Turn this into the critical role ASMR. <laughs> what did you say? Okay, okay. 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 She's going to heal 11 hit points. <laughs> That's a golf game. Yep. <laughs> you can make a perception check if you want to try and engage. Yeah. I ate Orem. You ate me? So you I get an advantage. Uh, I, I always have yeah. an advantage. Oh, then you should just go at Yeah. I mean, that's very possible that Lao might oh. swallow me whole. Uh, Cyclops-like creature. Oh, God. Oh. With a singular cloudy eye that sits above a noseless mouth of jagged teeth with missing gaps between them. Oh. The neck is non-existent, practically. Its head kind of sitting within a bulbous torso that wears patchwork clothing of what looks like a ruined mockery of prestige. A tall, Harlequin collar that seems to frame the back of its shoulders. It doesn't have feet. Instead, it has four long muscular arms that emerge from the torso. What? And it, it almost scurries like a spider before it kind of climbs down the side of the tree before this like fog gate. And then the two bottom arms stand straight like legs, and the two other ones fold behind it. Oh, and it oh. seems to put on this air of regality before oh. it glances down at the rest this of you. This is gross. Awesome. I ew. Like, ew. Like, like ask us for a toll or oh, something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like a toll bridge. So it seems we've got visitors to oh. Tell me, who comes and visits me, Tarosh the Little Slumber? Hello, Tarosh. Right, what you said? That is my name. I'm glad you heard, my dear. I wish to know your friends and why you've all been coming here. We have to go through, I believe, this gate. Is there a fee or a toll to pay? Of course there is. For all you say, my friends, you've made your way. But each of you have curious look. What will you bring this day? <laughs> I hear him. I can talk and rhyme. Are you kidding me right now? Oh God. <laughs> Oh, we were Quick. rhyming so much last episode. Where are our Quick, aromat? To just use words that can't be rhymed, like orange or <laughs> orange. turkey. Murky, I Murky guess. Murky rhymes with turkey. turkey. What kind of stuff do you like? See this look of like disappointment already. Wait, uh, you want to rhyme? You can like, rhyme. Go rhyme. Oh. Through the disappointment, the mouth is growing <laughs> slightly more salivating. I don't have much of value in my uh, journey. I have not been nimble. I have something of value to me, so I can offer you this thimble. Okay, okay, <gasps> okay. And I pick out the porcelain thimble that I stole yes. from you. Putting a hand <laughs> forward like this, and the bottom arm leg, get her over. Arm I do not forward move. And takes it, looks at it. All day I say, here, my little friend, I like the gift you bring. I say to you, my little friend, go forth and may you sing. Puts the thimble within its weird jacket that it has, kind of tattered off to the side, reaches over and kind of touches your shoulder. Pushes you through the door. <gasps> Before we no, get any it. older, no, I offer the, you this gift, a taste of Taldori pot holder. <laughs> <laughs> Take a persuasion check. <laughs> 13? To offend you here, I do not mean to look upon this trifle. Maybe could be taken. Instead, that monkey's rifle. Gotta talk and run, right? <laughs> I'm not good at it. You start noticing, with each failed rhyme, his body is growing slightly larger, the shadows around the gate grow slightly darker and longer, and this breathing gets louder. Uh, our day was long and too much filled with toil. It isn't much, but have this dram of burning oil. Soaks the pot holder in it and just eats it. Grabs you, your head like a basketball, and Yoink! flings you into the gate. The rest of you begin to hear. Right. Oh, shit. Um, it's a pleasure to come upon you on this fine day. We come from a realm far away. My name is Ladna, so don't call me Doris. But here I have this journal from a one Vespin Chloris. Oh! What? Oh! So Really good. <laughs> the pale moonlight color of the realm begins to peek once through. The grin that already sat, filled with gnarled teeth, begin to grow even wider as the book is accepted and thumbed through. The history of other realms have always kept me happy. I'll tell you, miss, I like your look. The rest of you are crappy. Ooh. Takes you and yeah. <laughs> throws you into the gate. Jenny, yeah. drop a beat. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yo, 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 I'm no. MCG. I'm here to say I love baked goods in a major way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too good at rhyming. I don't do raps, but I made you a box of ginger snaps. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god! He forgot the lasso box. <laughs> That's incredible. 
How long have they been sitting there? Yeah. I'm not going to eat them just in case. Wait till the break. Gives you a curious look over in general before sniffing them and then eating the box whole. I have to say, my little friend, I rather like the flavor. I wish there's more, but that's all right. The memory I'll savor. Grabs you and then chucks you back into the gate. You hear as Glomglut is now circling around the top of the thicket. You feel you haven't too much time before it begins to find you and tear through. Over Imogen's bunk ass gift, we feel <laughs> great remorse, but I hope you'll accept this sweet ass rocking horse. And it's a little, a little rocking horse that has a little figurine that has a, a big eye carved in the little guy that's on the back of it. Yes, that looks like him. I like this horse you offer me. Better handled with a tweezer. I think it's time you went ahead, you little stupid geezer. Grabs you in. Chucks you into the gate, admires the horse a little bit, and kind of looks it over, kind of bites it for a second. Doesn't he? He just bites on it. Okay, I'm gonna take the cloth that Mori gave us. Through this land we've ridden, of that I have not lied. I give you this gift to keep you hidden. Make yourself hide. <laughs> So, 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 so that was, that was, uh, I walked it. <laughs> Have we found Bailey's Achilles heel? <laughs> <laughs> Imogen. <laughs> Appreciate your second chance. Maybe this will hide. But here upon this second chance, I bet I'll let it slide. And goes ahead and just grabs you, brings you close and kind of looks you over for a second before throws you into the gate over its shoulder. Oh, it's me! Just you. You can see the shadow of something flying overhead and you can hear the sound of it growing closer and beginning to zero in. Tarosh is like, What am I getting you? What is this? <laughs> yeah, why are you checking your phone? Oh no, because it was buzzing, it was bothering me. I couldn't think straight. What's going on? Because I was like, everything's fine. Help, 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 help. Okay, here. It's just your life. Here, I have um, a simple golden skeleton key, but I must tell you, it's not as good of a present as me. <laughs> Are you giving like, up your body? No, no, no. Clat Cla Cla clatters up to you, kind of looking down upon you, this oddly shaped entity. It's long spindly arm legs beneath it, its arms kind of out to the side as it grabs the key. The impact sound of Gloam Glut up in the trees, like starting Giggles, to grab onto the gold. side. Of it. <laughs> I think you're right. I'll see this key. Its gold is really shown. But don't forget, whenever you want, you're always welcome home. Oh. Grabs you, and then kind of turns around and throws you into the gate. The last thing you hear is, "You uninvited!" Before you like, go through the gate. Shut up! In my brain, I had switched him. Shut up! It still rhymed. All right, fuck all y'all. You got to the edge of the cliff, and you're like, "I have a parachute, right?" <laughs> <laughs> A welcome serenity meets you on the opposite side, as you're now in another jungle forest, unfamiliar to you, but less ominous, less immediately dangerous. And there's something about the air that already feels Exandrian and welcoming, pushing probably into a, a sunset within the next hour. Okay, we don't know what day, what month, what year. No, we don't even know. And uh, no? we need... What are we going to do there? Regroup? Get, food. Get a meal? To, uh, do I would I have any idea of of how much? What did you just do with Pate? Hold you don't. You don't. Just don't. Tell them. Call them off. Yes. Friends come and get us. Sure. Just I've got them. one fourth level spell left that I can send a message to. Just to be sure, not to beat a dead horse. Mm. I'm sure Fauna's fine, but you really don't want to visit home or your dad or. It, what? These aren't big enough. Um, <laughs> you sure you don't want to visit your dad just in case he has like, I don't know, a tchotchke that could like sway sway your mom in a moment of illusion and then a real actual reverse yeah. going by? Let's head downstream a little bit then until we can't see the waterfall. Stop. I just What? Jesus. It's gonna be so much. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah, let's go downstream for like <laughs> half an hour <laughs> and then <laughs> sit down. <laughs> yeah, please, thank you. Yes, your butt does go everywhere, we know. <laughs> but it, it's gonna hurt us if we're around it. Just remember Can we that. It? Can we, do we have any way of keeping it at bay? Do we have any way of locking I it down? I mean, it, 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 it's a friend, it's an ally. 
It's not gonna intentionally hurt us, it's just it... It's got... I don't know. Strong mental capabilities. Why are you flipping them off? Because he's out of orders. I love oh, really? them. Give me one. They're pretty good. <laughs> Why do you have so many worthers in this so, hole? Uh, is this like a pog of you? Why is this? Your face is on this. Did the okay. Rylora? <laughs> <laughs> um, We're still all covered in oil of Ophay. Do we want to follow this stream for a bit? And... <laughs> what? That's oh what it's God. called. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And wash up. Absorbing this shit like nobody's yeah, business. Right, Let's sure. just... Yeah, you look very lustrous. Thank yeah. you. I feel shiny, and it's no, very it's hard a, to but grip. No, it's a good look on you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a very hard time like gripping the hammer. It just oh. keeps wanting to like. If I take a swing, Please. I think it's just going to go off into the woods. Jesus. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> This is like a yeah. film squib. <laughs> <laughs> it's dusk right now, butt. right? Guidance. <laughs> wow. I bounced off the chair. Oh, wow. Wow. Do your butts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two cheeks now. I'm out of cheeks, man. Oh no. Four. Easy <laughs> day. <laughs> you don't even see a sky. Silence. I go a little wonky sometimes. You do not see Ruidus in the sky, but, but you also understand that for a large part of the day, it's not, usually not. there, based on the uh, rotation of Exandria as a sphere. Like, like it spins like a vinyl disc? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but a sphere. <laughs> I'm currently uh, checking out the Tishtan excavation site myself. Tishtan, you heard in conversation previously about the ancient society that was being, that had- grew up building. Yes, built these strange kind of Devices to channel the power of. Oh, oh, look at that! that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's many vanguard here, guardians, golems. They're adjusting, reinforcing things. Bit of a last-minute scramble. You must have left an impact. Oh, it's destroyed. I don't know how to make our way to you. <laughs> I understand. Let me finish up at least my scouting mission here. If all goes well on the other side, I should meet some friends to the Verity soon. Help set the stage for... Shit! Oh. Oh. That's all you hear. No! Oh no. So we're not in Eos anymore. We need you to head towards Jelvan in the, in the Talon Highlands to pick us up. Oh well, then that is... Wow, you're just going all over the place. Okay, um... <laughs> let me sober up about an hour and we'll start going. <laughs> 12 days from the solstice. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's got yeah. a little ticker. You see that? Oh, I don't know. Do any of us need to roll any random d20s for no reason? Yeah, what? Sure, what? go for it. It's three. Oh, oh God. No. Sorry, we got three again. Roll four more d20s, <laughs> followed by 17 more. It's a new day, so I'll roll for roll Chetney. 2d6 and 1d8, please. <laughs> 2d6 and 1d8. Are we, is this just rollies? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Make you I got them every morning. Eight on the eight and a one and a three on the sixes. Congratulations. And somehow a seven Good on the job. d6. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Zandis! Bell's Hill here. <laughs> what is your ETA? Uh -huh. That's it! <laughs> you got six more. Captain Zandis, Captain Zandis! <laughs> <laughs> Bad as hell, this is Captain Zandis, back to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, Meg, going through the night, got about a day and a half before we arrive, so be ready. Oh, I'm, I'm the captain, I'm the captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be going to make a uh, survival check with advantage. Uh, because this is kind of more or less close to your home turf, and you have a strong lead, especially between that and Laudna's guidance uh, direction on where you have to get going. Did you say you guided me as I... Yeah. Was that what you said? Yeah. You guided? Yeah. Is that what you yeah. said? I said you got it, but I'm guiding it's it. <laughs> you guided it. I got it. You 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 got it. I was going to guide you for sure. That's amazing. You got it. I feel wishy washy taking that guidance. Okay. Uh, 15. Go make another survival check for me. <laughs> You got this. I do you got this. I'll guide you. <laughs> you, got, you got this. 
<laughs> just y'all, I just don't want to go. So I'm sorry to tell you, but my rolls are dog shit. Now I'll try and check in with Ren. Yeah. Sure. Sure. I'll send a message. I'll send a message at the same time. Thanks. <laughs> 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 Are you all right? Ran, it's the bell God tail. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Keep going. We are close to jail van. Are you okay? That's all. My compatriots. I forgot one thing. Are <laughs> assholes. I miss you. <laughs> Is there anything we can do? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> if you just want to transport me, I understand. No response. Oh, oh God, that's not good. No. It could have been because you were doing it at the same time. It could have been confusing. Maybe you should no try it again. <laughs> I'm going to focus on Ren and the excavation. The soft motes of energy that represent the three friends that you sense their presence. You come upon a gargantuan pit, pieces of equipment along the outside, and the three of you, meaning you are seven, so it was the three of you, <laughs> as you come to the edge of this massive pit. Sorry. Just a little <laughs> ball of light. <laughs> Just drifting around. <laughs> it's like when you get a little like stuck in those like those rides and you're just flipping upside down. Can't Pretty control much. myself in the harness. <laughs> yep. You continue to think of Rin and there is something pulling you towards this. As you drift over towards the center. I don't know where Thol is, but if you see her, wake up. You can see elements of an exposed glimmer of society from long ago. It is not a city per se, but signs of intentional building. Massive tower. The singular fork-like structure that kind of sits center to this excavation piece of ancient intent that has been built upon around it. The other structures and ruins that exist, a handful of other massive automatons, dozens of other dark shadows moving around doing their work. They're moving equipment and they're building glimmers of energy. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, I've had them stop farting all night. <laughs> <laughs> They're moving energy sources. A malleous key-like structure, far larger than the one you encountered in the Fey, built against, onto, and around this spire. You've got this. Take a chance. You've got You've this. You've got this. Roll the dice. Take a chance. Suck a dick. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you continue. And there you see at the oh, base no. of this spire, hand out in front, frozen. Stone. Oh! Uh, plain Rider Ren. No. Stone? Not dead, though. Time to go. Time to go. I agree. Oh, oh God, he's really yeah, nice. Let's we're going to try up, to get out. Up. There's an odd familiarity to the way this design has been built and implemented around this spire. A flash of glowing eyes not far from where you stand. As soon as you hear this from Imogen and kind of sense the, the chaos, the voice enters your mind. How interesting. I know you. I want to get the fuck out. You're attempting to wake up? Yes. Natural 20. Yes. Ooh. Let's right. Would you natural 20. Magical? No. Ooh. Let's go, ladies. We didn't think like all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Really you happen. now see the feminine shape of Odohan Thule begin to walk towards you, FCG. Eyes glowing like two spotlights focused on you. The last thing you hear in your mind, well then, Punishment it is. A screaming pain shears into both of your minds and you both immediately wake up screaming. You both take 36 points of psychic damage. Whoa. <laughs> ah. Ah. Are you all right? It's not good. She punished us. Your nose is bleeding a bit. Uh, you see coming around the corner, a man in his mid to late 40s, kind of dirty blonde hair, pushed to one side. He has kind of a scraggly beard, handsome in a rugged sort of way, uh, wearing just a simple button-up shirt, sleeves rolled up past the elbows, uh, and he's kind of wiping off some dirt from his hands as he steps out. Bad. Imogen, brings you around here today. We need to talk. A lot of folks know you're around here. Only the ones that saw me come in. Who's your, um... My friends, yeah. Friends, friends, all right. Motley crew, you got these days. What do you want? What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about Mom. If this doesn't go well, it's I'm going to kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. As you say that, he sighs a bit, How and he steps you. over and grabs two stools nearby, tosses one your direction, sits under himself. Do you want us to leave? I got nothing to hide. What do you want to know about your mother? Actually going to talk. I always knew this was going to come around someday or other, especially after the way you left. Why didn't you tell me she was alive? Thought it was easier than you knowing the truth. When did her power start um, showing up? I don't know. Part of me thinks she always had him by the time we met, and she just kept it from me this whole time. She didn't tell me about it. I think she was shamed, scared. What happened? Why'd she leave? 
I guess the mystery of her gift was stronger than the, the life we began to build. Huh? That's it? There was no catalyst? There was no moment? She just wanted to know? And shortly after we had you, about a year or two, said she kept having dreams and was afraid that you were gonna, you were gonna follow in her footsteps. It's a lot to take in at once. I think you know someone. There's a whole part of their life they just been keeping a secret from you. I was angry. <coughs> Still angry. A little party wants to believe she was just doing it to protect you. Maybe trying to either not hurt you or find out what this is so she can stop it or get rid of it. That's what I hoped. But you know, after about 10 years, you just kind of stop hoping. Move on with your life. Besides, I had you at that point to take care of. Daddy, you could have given me some warning. She's tied up in some really bad stuff. I think the people she was most afraid of have uh, kind of pulled her in. She wants to fight it, but she knows she's not strong enough. What we're trying to do, we're, we're trying to help her fight it. It could get real bad. I don't even know her. I have no way to um, pull her back. I know I left in a, in a very troublesome way, but I haven't asked anything of you, Daddy, not in a long time. Is there anything you can give us, anything that would help bring her back? Any information, like a scent that she loved or a song that she loved or... I haven't seen her in near 20 years. I, I couldn't even begin to tell you what she's like, only how she was. What was she like? She was sweet. She was smart. She was strong-willed. That's why I liked her. There was always a part of me that felt like maybe she knew she didn't belong here as much as she tried. Maybe there was a part of me that always thought that when she eventually figured that out, we'd both go together, but different worlds. I don't know what to tell you. Do you happen to have any of her things? Did you keep anything of hers? I'm all just rolling here, pulling my leg and trying to bring up such delightfully painful scars. You think I would come in here for no reason? These aren't tall tales. We wish it were. Something's happening and Mama's involved. You want to help her? I'm trying to help her find a path back. I think she's lost. She's struggling. He looks past you a little bit and looks out towards the, the city streets, huh? beyond the estate grounds. He bites his lower lip for a second. And he gets up, kicks his boot a bit on the side of one of the stable doors and just walks out of the stable. I get up and I start walking after him. Well, I'm just gonna lean on the door and actually watch Imogen and Dad. He leaves the estate grounds. Oh, he's going know. home. Eventually leads you to the, the grass fields. He's around your homestead. And just like you've stood there through all those dreams, the grass swaying in the breeze, the nearby trees gently taking the wind through them. And there's the farmhouse where you expect it. You come back to your home, and it says you remember it, if a little more bare. He hasn't needed as much furniture as of late, but it's welcoming, comfortable. You hear some rummaging in a back room, and he comes around the corner, it's like a square box. He pulls out this little silver chain, oval-shaped, lock it at the end, tosses it to you. Open it up. It has a fingerprint pressed into metal, a very, very tiny fingerprint. And it says written in it, in handwriting, like someone else written into this, like, soft metal. The better halves become a better whole. He just kind of looks at you as you kind of look at it. Whatever trouble she's gotten into, don't get yourself too far into this trouble either. Thank you. He approaches and kind of stands right before you, looking a little awkward. You knew him. He was never the master of parental affection. I never want you to be afraid of me, Daddy. Me neither. Good luck. Like, pats you on the shoulder. That gulf still sits between you. Yeah, thank you. Tell her, uh, he just turns and goes back in the room and closes the door. Bye. I'm sorry. No, oh, he helped. What is that? It's a locket. I think my mama, I think she wore it. It was made when I was born, maybe. Is that your fingerprint? I think it is. Just a little. <laughs> Can you imagine? I bet you were the cutest little baby. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm glad we came. We should get to the ship. The sky ship is descending on the oh, southern right. outskirts of the town, oh, and sorry. this yeah. is... Amazing. We should probably head that way. There is not a skyport in this oh, yeah, it's, farm it's village. Kind of bas and <laughs> it is Gathering attention. I, let's go make a scene. <laughs> yes. Councilwoman Timult, after you. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> keep the keep the hood down. Put your head up high. Yeah, you fucking show him. That's too high. It'll pop off. Okay, that's <laughs> 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 oh shit! Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Now. <laughs> Look at you walk this place like a runway. Going through the main street, through the Windstep Marketplace, most folks are like whispering and bantering about and gathering and pointing towards the sky ship as it's approaching. Having grown up here, you know, you've heard stories and in the very far distance can see the shapes moving through from the various trade routes, but the occasional one heading towards the, the top of the mountains to the south, where Svartus sits. But nary one ever stopped near this village, so everyone is definitely gathered and focused on this, which at first means you wade into this town without much anyone paying attention. But once a few do, the whispers begin to change. 
and the energy begins to grow. Some of it fear and surprise, some of it just general excitement, but all eyes are now on you as you begin to step towards this massive arcane beauty. The silver sun eventually lowering the broomstone, still humming with energy till it comes to rest in the center of the exterior field, just beyond the main gates of the village. There you see all manner of members of this town. Some you don't recognize, but many, many you do, many you grew up with. And all faces seem to be a mixture of awe and surprise. The occasional glance of disdain, but this combination of appearance back to back seems to have most people left stunned and kind of unable to emote beyond just taking it in. I shoot an unsettling presence to that first person that gives us the stink eye. <laughs> <laughs> a slight dark trickle down the mm. side of their pant leg. Uh, this this older crotchety man who you Scare haven't seen before. <laughs> just like, <laughs> But there you see, kind of rushing to the front of the ship, Captain Zandis. Horns outright, their arms up with their coat kind of billowing behind as the breeze puts through and they go, hello there, all you great people, there's um, no you don't get the bumpkin to see this such a great display like this, <laughs> but this is the Silver Sun, one of the great esteemed uh, skyships to wander all of Exandria, here to bestow upon you a majestic entrance to Bell's Hell, right here. I this fine people Captain. that we gotta go, right? We're, we're going yeah, to places? We gotta go. We gotta go. All right. This we way, go. Councilwoman, oh, after yeah. up the steps to make sure they're clear. You heard the Councilwoman, you riffraff on board. Oh, right away. Magistrate. Major, Major Domo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I get on board and I bow. Waiting for her to come up. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Zanus goes, I, I am also a king. <laughs> <laughs> We're all very important. We're all, <laughs> We're all royalty. VIPs. Nice. Captain, come on. This is Jack. She's trying to play along besides, you know. Extra. As soon as everybody's up, I'm just gonna turn to, back to the crowd. I'm not gonna say a word, I'm just gonna levitate up back onto the ship while staring at everybody. <laughs> you can hear the audible, oh, the gasps just kind of <laughs> pouring through the crowd. What a waste of a spell. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> That's what this is about. Hitting me? Are you saying you used a fake thing for the wrong fake thing? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Ready to go? Yeah, so yeah. Get out of Fuck this town. We might need to uh, double time it. We'll push the guns. Huh? Goodbye, bumpkins. Have a good day. <laughs> All the broomstones begin to fill with energy, begin to glow brightly, and the sky ship picks up as one big circular pass over the town at a low angle to just kind of harry the townsfolk one more time before shifting back. Where? Where are we going? I'll catch. Oh, great! Perfect. As you look towards the sky in front of you, this faint visual kind of aurora is just barely visible in the sky. And that's where oh, we're gonna finish no. this episode right oh, no. there. Oh no. Yeah. Attack of the yellow zone! Oh my god. Oh, I'm a, ooh, I give me a good one. Ooh, me too. Yeah. Oh, so, so oh. sweet. I want that locket. Me too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, so when your birthday sweet. comes, we'll see what you do. Nothing like a DD prop for your birthday. Very cool. I mean, yeah. I'm, he wasn't a total dick fuck. Oh, he was. He, was he, wasn't, he wasn't great. I mean, I said a he total wasn't, dick fuck. That's true. Mustache twirling Disney villain. He was. He was little demon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for. All right. Well, we'll pick up from there next week as you head towards the Hellcatch with eleven days ah! before the solstice. Eleven days. Eleven, eleven days. Oh, <laughs> and see whatever lies before you. At dawn we plan. At dawn, dawn we, we plan. plan. Oh. Thank you all so much for joining us. Hey. <laughs> we'll see you soon enough. We love you very much. And is it Thursday? Yeah. Good night. Yeah.